Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are going to show you some cool tricks with Sample Edit. So we're going to go through some things like bit reduce and pitch shift, fade ins, fade outs, the whole shebang just to show you what you can do when you're manipulating an audio sample. So if you look to my left, I'm in the MPC loop library and I'm going to find a wave loop to import. Let's go to Electro Tech. I think I like that one. Okay, so I found a loop I want to use. Cool. All right, I'm going to change the, G the BPM just because they tell me. And I'm going to see if it lines up. Okay, so that's cool. So it's definitely 131 beats per minute. Now with that, first thing I want to show you guys is bit reduce, right? So with bit reduce, all you have to do is go to this sample button down here and you can reduce the bit of your drum. So, uh, you know, back on the old school samplers and stuff like that, they used to have 12 bit drums or eight bit drums and it used to sound really crispy, really grimy or whatever. So let's say you want to reduce your drums to 12 bit or reduce the loop. This is what it'll sound like. So you may or may not be able to tell, but it sounds a little bit more chunky, a little bit more grimy, right? Now, what if we bit reduce this all the way to four bits? All right, just had to play it again, just so we can get a clear picture of what happens. So, uh, Let's go ahead and undo some of these changes. All right. All right, so our loop sounds normal again. Let's go ahead and fool around with fade in. Let's see how that works. So you have a couple different kinds of fade ins. We'll just keep it linear for now. We'll go in depth in another video, but a typical fade in. Whoa. Pretty cool, right? So next time when you're doing a DJ set, if you have your audio sample or even a song that you want to fade in that you don't want to automate for whatever reason, you can create an alternate version that you do a fade in on. All right, undo that. Let's do a fade out. All right, you see what it did there? Another cool thing that you can do when you're manipulating an audio sample, really good if you wanna make a tape effect stop or some type of effects where you're doing a transition, any of that kind of stuff. We'll get more into fade outs in other videos, but let's go ahead and undo that. And then I'll show you one more trick that you should know if you don't already, which is reverse, right? And thus our audio sample has been reversed. So yeah, those are some pretty cool things that you can do with sample edit. Um, and that's pretty much the gist of it, man. If you get a cool soul sample that you like, or maybe it's indie rock or whatever genre it is, you want to make sure that you're playing around with these tools so that you're doing the best things possible with your track. Also, another thing you can do, right? Let's go ahead and undo this. All right. So that's normal again. You want to explore gain changes too. So sometimes you might get a sample that's really low. Uh, it's not the volume's not that high or maybe it's too loud. Maybe we think the sample is too loud and it's clipping on the meter So we want to turn it down some So we effectively turned our sample down without having to turn the track down having to affect the level right here Or mess with any of these knobs down here, right? On top of that if we wanted to I could just go back to gain change Oops, Excuse me. Let's go ahead and let's say I don't think this is loud enough. All right, go ahead and turn it up by, yep. All right, and now the sample is entirely too loud as you can see, but pretty much that is it. Yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to tell a friend 
that you just learned about how to use the different type of sample edit options that you have in MPC 1.9.6. With that said, we will see you next week. Drum Machine Addicts is out. Peace.